Picture this. While we're out here slathering on sunscreen and chugging green smoothies to squeeze a few extra years out of life, there are creatures in the wild who've told death to get lost. These aren't your poster child pandas or sleek tigers. They're nature's weirdest rebels, living in slimy ponds, icy oceans, dusty burrows, and windswept peaks, proving that aging isn't the boss of them. Today, we're gate-crashing the most exclusive VIP list in the natural world. Meet the Hydra, a squishy blob that regenerates like it's auditioning for a superhero flick. The Planarian Worm, a slimy survivor that laughs at decapitation. The Naked Mole Rat, a wrinkly buck-toothed cancer crusher. The Ocean Quahog, a clam that's been chilling since nights were a thing. The Bristle Cone Pine, a tree older than your wildest history lesson, and the immortal jellyfish, a sea critter that hits rewind like it's stuck in a Back to the Future reboot. These six aren't just hanging on, they're rewriting the rules of life, and their secrets might just change ours. So, why should you care? Because these freaks of nature aren't just cool trivia, they're blueprints for a future where we might dodge the Grim Reaper too. But here's the kicker, would we even want to? Stick around as we dive into their wild stories, how they cheat death, what science is digging up, and what it all means for us mortals clinging to our coffee runs and Netflix binges. This isn't your grandpa's nature, Doc. It's a roller coaster of wonder, laughs, and wait, what? Moments. Grab a snack, maybe something with a long shelf life, and let's kick it off with the Hydra, the tiny trickster who's been vibing longer than your family tree. Picture this, it's 1740, and a Swiss dude named Abraham Trembley is messing around by a pond, probably avoiding chores, when he spots this half-inch tube with wispy tentacles looking like a lost piece of spaghetti. He's like, plant or animal? So he grabs his knife and slices it in half, expecting it to croak. Nope, it turns into two of itself, each waving its tentacles like, hey, no biggie. Trembly, the original mad scientist, keeps chopping quarters, eighths, tiny scraps. And every time, this thing, the Hydra, comes back like it's got infinite lives in a video game. He wrote a whole book about it. And here we are, centuries later, still geeking out over this pond-dwelling badass. So, how does the Hydra pull off this eternal youth gig? It's all about regeneration, and it's got the moves down pat. Its body's a simple tube, Mouth up top, sticky foot below, tentacles snagging snacks like a watery trap. But here's the wild part. Slice it, and you don't get a dead Hydra. You get a Hydra sequel. Dice it into bits. Boom, Hydra squad assemble. Scientists have shredded these things down to a few dozen cells, and they still regrow every time. It's like Wolverine, but squishier and less grumpy. The magic's in its stem cells, Think of them as the overachieving interns of the body. In us, stem cells burn out, leaving us with wrinkles and bad knees. In the Hydra? They're on a power trip, replacing every tissue every 20 days or so. It's a full body Cottrell plus alt, plus delete. No reboot required. A 2015 study in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, fancy, right? Found Hydras don't age. No midlife crisis. No, I'm too old for this vibes, just perpetual freshness in a blob you could miss if you blinked. But there's more. In 2018, UC Davis Boffins cracked its genetic code and found it's a ninja at controlling jumping genes. Those DNA gremlins that mess us up as we age, like glitches in a game save. The Hydra's like, not today, thanks to the Foxo gene, the MVP of stem cell management. Mess with Foxo and the Hydra rages like us normies. Here's the twist. We've got Foxo too, but ours is too busy multitasking. If we could streamline it, maybe we'd be in on the Forever Young Club. What's the human angle? Imagine regenerating like that. New joints after a 5K, a fresh liver after a wild weekend. Hydra research is sparking anti-aging ideas. Stem cell boosts to keep us spry past 90. But hold up. If we all lived forever, would Earth turn into a packed Comic-Con with no exits? And the Hydra's life? It's a lonely blob stuck to a leaf. 
My fake bioethicist pal, Dr. Emily Chen, says, Immortality's a flex, but 500 years of pond Wi-Fi sounds like a hard pass. If you could grill the Hydra, what did you ask? How's the pond gig? Any skincare tips? Drop it in the comments, I'm all ears. Let's talk about the time planarian worms went full sci-fi. In 2017, scientists yeeted some of these slimy dudes to the International Space Station, because why not? And they came back with a plot twist. These flat, eyeless wonders, about an inch long and looking like a squashed slug, are already region champs. Cut one in half, two worms, dice it into 279 pieces. Yep, someone counted. And you've got 279 new worms, each slithering off like later losers. But in space, a few grew two heads. No one's totally sure why. Maybe Zero G glitched their system, or they just wanted to flex. Either way, it's like they watched Alien and thought, we can top that. How do they do it? Meet Neoblasts, the rock stars of the planarian world. These stem cells are like biological multitaskers. Chop a worm, and Neoblasts swarm the wound, rebuilding brain, guts, whatever's missing, with precision that'd make Tony Stark jealous. A 2022 Nature Communication study says they even sense what's gone, like a living IKEA manual. For us, this is gold. Imagine regrowing a spine after a crash or a heart after too many fries. Planarians also reset their telomeres, those DNA end caps that shrink as we age, keeping them forever young while we're stuck with crow's feet. But let's not get too hyped. These worms live blind in damp muck, eating dead stuff they bump into. Trading your Wi-Fi for that? Nah. And if we crack their code, who gets the Regan juice? Billionaires or broke folks? Would we end up with a two-headed elite? Dr. Chen's like, Regan's dope, but I'm not slithering through swamp life for it. If you could regrow one body part, what's it gonna be? Hairline? That toe you lost to a lawnmower? Tell me below, I'm dying to know. Real talk. Naked mole rats are the ugliest MVPs you'll ever meet. These pink, wrinkly, hairless blobs with buck teeth look like a hot dog that got lost in the desert. But don't sleep on them. They're longevity legends. While a mouse clocks out at three years, these guys hit 37, still popping out babies like it's nothing. They've got negligible senescence. Aging's just a rumor to them, and they're basically cancer-proof. A 2024 Cell Report study says their DNA repair is top tier, shutting down tumors like a bouncer at an exclusive club. Plus, they've got hyaluronin, a gooey shield keeping their cells in check. Their social game's wild too. They live in eusocial colonies, think ant vibes, with a queen ruling and workers digging tunnels. The queen's still cranking out pups in her 30s and a 2019 study says this teamwork cuts stress, boosting their lifespan. It's like a dusty utopia, but with more poop eating. Yep, they recycle their own waste. Gross, but efficient. For us, this hints at community extending life. Less stress, more squad goals. Maybe we just need better group chats. But would you trade your Netflix nights for burrow life and a poop diet? And ethically, should we steal their secrets? Dr. Chen's got a zinger. Longevity's cool, but I'd rather not look like a wrinkled sausage snacking on yesterday's lunch. Would you trade looks for lifespan? 150 years with the naked mole rat glow. Hit the comments, beauty or beast mode. Meet Ming, the clam that lived through more drama than a Game of Thrones box set. Born in 1499, this ocean quahog was chilling in the North Atlantic when Columbus was lost, when Shakespeare was penning bangers, and when the iPhone dropped. It hit 507 years, oldest non-colonial animal ever, until scientists accidentally offed it in 2006. Ming's shell rings logged 500 years of climate shifts, like a diary etched in calcium, while its cells just kept humming thanks to negligible senescence. A 2020 marine biology study credits low oxidative stress and mitochondrial repair, perfect for icy waters. 
A 2023 genome biology study found longevity genes we might swipe for anti-aging drugs. But Ming's life, it sat there sipping plankton, growing a millimeter a year. Imagine 500 years, master every skill or just binge every show ever. Dr. Chen says, five centuries sounds epic, but 500 years of small talk might be the real death sentence. If you had 500 years, what's your first move? World peace? Perfecting your TikTok dance? Drop it below. I'm curious. High in California's White Mountains, where the wind's a banshee and the ground's a rocky hellscape, stands Methuselah, a 4,853-year-old bristlecone pine. This gnarled beast was sprouting when the pyramids were new, and it's still here, shrugging off time. Its cells don't age, negligible senescence again, and it uses modular growth, replacing parts like a Lego set. A 2021 PNAS study says it laughs off DNA damage, while 2024's tree physiology shows it pauses growth in bad times, hitting snooze until the coast's clear. Methuselah's trunk twists like a wizard's staff, bare wood gleaming through cracked bark, a survivor's trophy. What's 5,000 years like? No wars, no memes, just quiet grit. Would we thrive or go nuts? Dr. Chen muses, Methuselah's got tails, but I'd miss my coffee runs. What did you ask Methuselah? Seen any epic history? What's your secret? Tell me below. Let's chat. Ever wanted to rewind life like Marty McFly in Back to the Future? The immortal jellyfish, Turritopsis dorney, does it for real. This dime-sized bell with tentacles doesn't die when stressed. It reverts to a polyp and starts over, like a living reset button. In 1988, an Italian student found it shrinking back to youth in a lab, mind blown. A 2019 zoological journal study says it's trans-differentiation, cells flipping roles like improv actors. For us, this could mean rebooting aging cells. But constant resets, no memories, just a Groundhog Day loop. Dr. Chen's like, neat trick, but I'd rather age with my Netflix queue. Would you rewind to 20, losing all your wisdom? Share below. From the Hydra's region hacks to the jellyfish's time hops, these creatures prove aging's a puzzle they've solved. They're blueprints for a future where we might cheat death, but should we? Immortality sounds dope, endless time for dreams, but what if it's a trap? No urgency, no stakes, just pond blobs and poop diets. Maybe our finite days fuel the good stuff, love, art, that midnight taco run. What's your call, forever or nah?